Hey, I'm just about to make a pizza with the Holy Buckets hydroponic system. Welcome to iHeart 3D Printing. I'm trying to be like Hocho's channel. I don't know if you even know who that is, but he's a 3D printing hydroponics channel. Anyways, I've had a lot of success with this method and stay tuned because I'm gonna explain. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Edward at iHeart 3D Printing and here's the basil that I was growing that I was uh, mentioning. He's just shy of about 18 inches tall, super thick stem. He's a big boy. And here is a basil that I bought at the grocery store for $2.99. Now you can see there's a substantial difference. This one's bushier, of course, because it's a lot of stems. This basil, and I've tested this because I was concerned. I, I bought some of this to grow some, grow some pizzas, make some pizzas. And I found like my pizza was less flavorful, it was less delicious, less impressive. And I thought it was something I was doing to the pizza. Turns out it's the basil itself. It's basil-y, but it's a little bit on the weak side. Now I'm gonna take uh, a cutting off my prize gold winning basil over here. Way stronger. And the leaf's a little denser. And now, the cool part is these these cuttings, I bought this like three months ago. I cut, I grew all these, all my basils from these cuttings. So it's the same actual plant from the same company. Just this hydroponic method yields an amazing flavor profile, leaf density, and greenness, and just the speed of growing. This is the Holy Buckets system. It's a paint bucket from Home Depot. It's one of those kinds with a screw on lid. It's five dollars at Home Depot right now. And the Holy Buckets features a, I see I broke these off, to transport it into a different system. You 3D print this, you stick it in in the hole right here. Let me get another bucket here. You stick it in the the paint hole and you could pull out a massive impressive root structure and no motors, no engines, no pumps or whatever, and grow massive basils full of flavor in under 30 days, the Crack Key hydroponic system and your 3D printer with this uh, cup system. You can fuse them in there, and if you wanna take the plant out, you just, they're, they're printed vertically, so you can just peel the, for the, because it's a video, I'm gonna do one right now and then get your root structure out if you want. So it's really cool for those of us who want to, you know, like I, I keep saying on the channel, I mix a little bit of everything in. You know, the economy's weird. Uh, I don't see, in my opinion, I think there's gonna be something crazy happening. Learning how to do some of this stuff can, can help you grow lettuce, basil. There's maybe 10 different plants you can grow in the system. The flavor, it just makes it worth it. Let's talk about some of the observations that I've made. All right guys, so one of the things you're gonna have to do is get your plants rooted. Now you could probably grow these from a seed. I can't spe speak to that yet because I haven't done it. Um, I've always used cuttings, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cutting, cut just above the stem. I, people say below where the nodes are. I say cut above the nodes. I think they're confusing different plant species. If you cut below the nodes, you get like root, root growth up to that node and it kind of stalls. I'd rather have a long stem of roots. And we'll make probably more videos of this. Here's the root structure. Oh my gosh. Look at that. What's even more impressive is this one's root structure. Take a look at that. Holy smokes. It's used almost all the water. I actually had to put water in there, fresh water. Look at that stem. Oh man, that's easily eight millimeters stem. At the base, at the very base, that is easily 10. I mean, there's my finger. So, massive leaves. And this is outdoor grown. Um, I did do it indoors for a minute, but up to like that tall. And then I went outdoors with it. Now here's a weird thing, um, these leaves were growing all balled up and I didn't, I just wanted to peel open the ball and found a little bug and I think he stalled the growth, I think he's got another couple inches to grow but because his leaves were balled up, he um, got a little weird on me and I'm going to get that thing but when I undid the ball that bug was in there and I just kept him in there to show for the video. Okay so where are we at here, these buckets come with the lid 
and you fill it up with, I think, distilled water. And I have a video on pH, so we're not going to go into the pH, but pH is very important for any kind of hydroponics. But yeah, you get your mix, you could do your pH adjustments. The reason I don't glue those in, because I want to take it out, take measurements inside here, and do the adjustments, put the lid back on, and I shake it. You know, don't shake it like this, but you can shake up the nutrients, and you're off to the races. So, real simple design. Um, I'm growing lettuce in here, and this is this is outside of the scope of the video, but I plan on maintaining this project. You know, leave a comment, and maybe we'll do a giveaway, but this is the newest design on the bottom. I think it just looks really cool. Here's the other design, and here is the, the different root structures that grow. These are a lot of air roots when they're spiky like that, or even fuzzy, that's air roots. Here's a new thing I'm doing, a lampshade for indoor uh, hydroponics. Same same design, lampshade, I already have the, the fixture in the garage. That's a surprise for later. And here is a ebb and flow system. These were soil grown, look how small that is. These were planted at the same time these were, okay? So, let me tell you, nutrient deficiencies, all kinds of problems. Soil-based plants, at least with basil, it's not very not very good. And we're in sunny San Diego. These guys should have been huge. Okay, that's cement outside of the scope of the video. 3D printed, I don't know, pot, pots or whatever. Um, here's an interesting thing. I, I was printing them in colors because they look cool. But the sun can get through the colors and the roots won't grow up on the edges. They won't, they won't fully get roots until I, so I had to print a cover and then it really started to blossom. Now for your hydroponics, you're going to need a plant food. You're going to need a plant food and a syringe. And here is the, um, I'm using this kid's syringe. For this fertilizer, which is probably faster to get started at the beginning, put five milliliters per bucket of water, you are going to need some pH up and pH down, hands down. I, I tried to do it without it. You're gonna get yellow leaves if you don't. At pH down, definitely, pH up, maybe. You're gonna to have to grow, get the cuttings. Now, this system, I'm trying to make it versatile. So as you can see, there's other testing to be done. I haven't got there yet, but I'm trying to make a system of different methods that use these holy buckets. The holy buckets are cool because you know, you can bring them indoors, outdoors, they're portable, and one gallon of water will grow a basil plant that massive, without a doubt. Um, so, you know, if you had 30 buckets, you'd have essentially 30 massive basil plants to do whatever you wanted with. And assuming, you know, you might, lettuce is coming. I, I, this, this, I know this one's germinated, I could see the root. There you have it, guys, very simple. I ain't gonna bore you with a 3D print. Uh, holy buckets, crack key method system for basil lovers like me. You can always do this, $2.99, but you're gonna need a lot more basil to get the flavor. It's just not as strong. It's not as strong, it's not as rich. I made some, some basil uh, pizzas the other day for some neighbors, and this leaf right here, when they took a bite out of that pizza, you just saw their face go, oh, you could just see the look on their face like of surprise. Um, so that's what I want to do when I make something. I want, I want people to be impressed. I take pride in my work and I don't think I could get here now. Now that I've experienced this, this form of basil, I can't go back to the store-bought stuff. I, I, I can't. I tried it the other day because I don't want to sacrifice these. And in fact, the reason I'm making this video is because I keep coming close to cutting it because I cook a lot of pizza here. I keep going, coming close to harvesting it and I said, oh, I haven't made my video. I don't want to do this over again. There you have it, guys. Thanks a lot for viewing. If you like this, this type of content, if you like these kind of videos, like, subscribe, help me feed my family. You can buy these. I'm gonna sell these on my website. That's it, newman3d.com. I'm gonna put a little thing on the bottom. You can buy some of these and you, maybe you could buy the STLs if you just wanna print it and you'd be supporting me and my family and giving yourself a cool little project that doesn't cost a lot of money to get started. Your biggest upfront cost, I do believe you need a pH meter, uh, any kind of hydroponics. There's also, you know, people ask me about this plant that sometimes begins with a C and sometimes begins with an M and it's legal in some areas and it's not legal in other areas. You can use this method to grow that kind of plant if you want. I don't know how to do that yet, but we're, I have a, a neighbor experimenting with it as we speak and maybe there's gonna be a video on that. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking. And here's a canyon in San Diego, California. I'll leave that to your viewing pleasure. 
Have a good day, guys. iHeart3D Printing. See you later. Bye-bye.